Hey class, so we are going to be working on examples 3 and 4 for day 18 of the notes. Example 3 says we're going to be graphing this type of exponential function when b is greater than 1 and 4 is when b is between 0 and 1. So let's see what 3 says. It says graph f of x is equal to 4 times 2 to the x power. Compared to the graph of the parent function, describe the domain and the range of f. So let's see. First, I'm going to make a table of f in this part of my paper. So if we want to make a table for f, we are going to open up an x and a y, where we have x is this. Let me straighten this up. And then we have our y, which is 4. Actually, let's scratch that. I just saw that. We named it f of x. So I want to be consistent. So we have x here, f of x here. Right there. Now we're just going to try a few values. I'm going to try a few values before 0. 0, and then a couple after. My graph may not be that pretty, but it's okay. Right, so we have negative 2, 1, 0, and 1 and 2. Um, so just like before and in class, we're going to be able to plug these numbers x in. So when x is negative 2, we're going to plug that in here. And we're going to crunch the numbers. For the sake of time, I'm just going to use a calculator. So we have 4 times 2 to the negative 2 power. Let's see what that gives us. That gives us 1. So we'll put that down there. We'll repeat the process. 4, 2, to the negative 1 power is going to give us 2. When x is 0, that one's a little bit easier to calculate because 2 to the 0 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. And then same thing for the positive numbers. These are a little bit more common to work with. When x is equal to 1, 2 to the 1 is just 2. 2 times 4 gives me 8. And we, we know this is an exponential function. We notice that to get to the next number, I just have to keep multiplying by 2. So this last value, without having to plug it into my function, I know has to be 16. So we have to remember this table of values corresponds to this function here. They're telling us that we have to compare it to the graph of the parent function. So what I'm going to do is on this other side, I'm going to do, again, some tables with the same x values. But now this time, we don't have f of x. Let's call the, the parent function g of x. And that parent function is going to look like this. We have 2 to the x. And actually, is it 4? Let me check something and my notes real quick. I don't want to be writing the wrong thing. Give me a second. So this should be... We have 2 to the x. And then, yes, okay, I was right. So it is 2 to the x. That's our parent function. And so now let's see how we can, once again, just plug in numbers to figure this out. 2 to the negative 2 power gives me 1 fourth. So we get 1 fourth. 2 to the negative 1 power, that just means that we have to flip that 2. So we get 1 half. And then we have 2 to the 0 power, like I said, anything to the 0 power is just 1. 2 to the first power is 2. And then finally, 2 to the second power will be 4. So here's both our table of values for f and for the parent function g. Um, so I won't actually be able to graph it right now, but I will be attaching a screenshot of the graph of both of these so that you can compare the values. Um, so again, right now is where you would pause the video, look at that 
uh, graph, look at the picture of those two graphs put together, uh, and then just visually compare them, right? And so I'm going to pause here for like three seconds. All right, hopefully you paused it and looked at the graph. And so once we come back to the our paper, we're going to be able to answer what the domain in the range is. Now, if you remember, domain pretty much just tells me what x values end up working for this exponential function. And so, in other words, what x values can I connect to my exponential function? And the answer is all of them, right? So it doesn't matter if we go really negative or really positive, I will always get a value for y when I plug in x. So this is actually going to be that the domain for this is all real numbers. All real numbers. And my range, oh, I should, I should find out the other one and say all real numbers x, because we're talking the, about the domain. And the range is the same thing, but now we have to look at our y's. And so if you, if you look at the graph of f in the picture, you'll notice that it gets a very awfully close to y is equal to 0, aka the x-axis, but it never actually crosses it. So we can actually say that my range for f is going to be y is greater than 0. And that would be the solution for example 3. For example 4, we have a very similar thing going on, but now our exponential function has a fraction inside of that parentheses. So let's see how that affects our work. Once again, I create a table. On the left side, I will do the function that they want us to, to graph. Again, we'll call it f. x value is the same ones, just so we can be consistent. They don't always have to be these values, but they're usually the convenient ones to pick. And just like before, we're going to put all of these values into the calculator um, see what we end up with. So our first one would be minus negative fraction 1 over 2. We're going to raise that to the negative 2 power. And that gives us a minus 4. So this is minus 4. And then because I already have the table here, I will kind of just speed through this because you can just put this in a calculator on your own account and figure it out. We're going to get minus 2, minus 1, minus 1 half, and minus 1 fourth. So this right here is for the function minus 1 half to the x power. Now we have to look at our parent function, which is going to be almost the exact same thing. And we'll call it g of x now. I realize I didn't call this one g of x. Let me just change this to be consistent. But yes, this one needs to be called g of x. And so once again, same x values. Now for g of x... Uh, we're going to plug in our values, and we have to remember that the parent function in this case would be almost the same thing, but now we're not going to include that negative. So once again, we're going to get that 1 half to the negative second power is going to give us 4. And then 1 half to the negative 1 power is going to give us 2. And then pretty much the same values as these, but positive. All right, so it's not a lot of surprise. So once again, pause this video real quick just so you can refer to the picture I will attach um, with this example. So now that you looked at the picture, we can actually... Come back over here and answer the question about my domain and range. So for f, now we're looking at f, the domain, which is again all the x values that we can connect to the graph. In this case, if you look um, in the very, very negative x direction and in the very, very negative, uh, negative and positive x direction, 
you'll see that it actually we're actually able to connect our x value to any point on the graph so once again my domain for this one is going to be all real numbers And our range, if you look at the graph, if you refer to the graph, you'll notice that it actually never touches any positive number, right? So it's pointing downward and it approaches zero, but never actually touches it. So we can actually say that my range has to be y is less than zero. So it never actually touches zero but it always remains in the negative area.